welcome back to oil tradition my viewers and subscribers how are you today i hope all is well today is another beautiful day the summer is here on us and we know it's from one extreme to the next but we're not going to complain when it's hot we want it cold when it's cold we want it hot we always want something we haven't got so let us be grateful I have not been on online for a while, but I'll make it up to you. I've been very busy lately, and I just want to come to you today to talk about friends and friendships, and what it means to be a friend, and you know, a few things about friends and friendships. So I'm going to go straight into the video right now and please like and share the video. If it means anything to you, leave a comment in the comment section. And like I said, I haven't been on for a while, but please forgive me. Okay, my viewers, please forgive me. I am I'm so busy doing a lot of other things. I have to catch up with my writing, my baking, my this, my that. <laughs> so please forgive me. Okay, so here, here I go. We use the word friend or friendship very loosely. But friends, we need friends. We really do need friends. Because we are social beings, so we need friends. Friends... We have different kinds of friends. We have friends who could just be a neighbor who is very nice. They look out for you. Or maybe a little deeper than that. You know, we form friendships since childhood. And sometimes the friendship grows until we, we, we go to um, public school, then high school, then college sometimes. But then sometimes after we leave those institutions, we branch off in marriage or we travel and we find other friends so it doesn't matter where we are and where we live we still need to interact with people and that is how we build friendships hmm? proverbs 17 and 17 says a friend loves at all time and a brother is born in adversity proverbs 18 and 24 says if a man had friends, he must first show himself friendly. There's a friend that stick it closer than a brother. So if you want friends, you need to show yourself friendly first. Because, you know, friendships can last for a lifetime. Some friendships are for a reason, some for a season. So if you have a, see a, friend, a friend that is a is for this season don't expect them to hang around when they walk away don't feel bad because that friend what i just come for that season some people come for a reason you know maybe you might meet them in school or whatever and they were there for you to help you with your spanish help you with your math and they were just there for a reason and then you have some friends, especially those friends who come for a reason. Sometimes they don't even want to be acknowledged for what they did for you. Because that's just how life is. And we understand that friends are necessary. We need friends. We really need friends. No man is an island. No man stands alone. Now I want to give my audience an assignment. Think about three people, three people that you know if you call them for any reason, they will show up. Even in the middle of the night, even early in the morning. And if they can't come themselves, they will be able to send somebody because they care about you that much. I don't think a lot of people have that. But try to think about three people. So that's why the Bible even encourages us to show ourselves friendly first. Because we all need that kind of person. If 
there's a problem we need to be able to call somebody and my great grandmother and she passed she, my mother passed it down to me she said her grandmother said you should have three kinds of friends the one who will not come but they will send you help the one who will come and see you but they are not going to wash your dirty clothes and then the one that will wash your dirty clothes clean you up the, the, the second one will pay somebody to do it when they come and they see you need a bath or they need your clothes to be washed they will pay somebody they will not do it but then there's the one who will come and wash it it makes a lot of sense to me mm -hmm. so find somebody Find three people who you can think of that will be there for you if you should call on them for any reason. And even if they can't help you, they'll try to get somebody who can help you and put it in the comment section. That is something to think about. Eh? That is something to think about. Now, um, we, need, we need our friends to be loyal. This is kind of like a lecture or a lesson I'm giving. And I have to make notes. So we need our friends to be loyal and dependable. We need them to be genuine, honest, and faithful. We need people like those. We don't need fake friends. Because a lot of people say we are friends and they're very fake. They have hidden agendas. They have ulterior motives. And those are the people... We really don't want to get involved in, but you will not be able to know until you actually see the manifestations, right? Now, <clears throat> there are some friends, um, there are some friends that are very genuine and they're dependable and they're loyal to the end, like the um like David and Jonathan remember them and when when Jonathan's father wanted to kill David he told David they were so closely knitted together like brothers you know and because of um Jonathan David's life was spared so he became the next king now Jonathan knew that he could not end the kingdom Mm -hmm. and he knew he saw that giftedness in David and because of what he did for David David was able to come back and gave gave Meshibotheth a, a, a seat at the king's table so you see how kindness roll around what goes around comes around no I remember this other friend O.J. Simpson's friend, Al Kalin, even though his friend was charged with murder, he was in the car driving his friend. And I think a lot of people look at it differently. But for me, I see that man as a good friend. Because sometimes people, they're okay with you when you're, everything is good. But once, once you get in trouble, they're not your friend anymore. And that's not good you know at least you can try with them for a few times you know you know if you see that they're going to get you in trouble then well that's different but i guess you still have to hold on to your friend it's your friend how come you just switch all of a sudden just because i you heard something about me or you know what i'm saying witness it for yourself first before you you're ready to give up on me and you don't want anybody to know that, that you know me because I'm a murderer. You know what I'm saying? So I really admire that man, Alan Colin. I don't know him, <laughs> never met him, but just when I think about the dynamics of what happened, I think it was in the 90s, I just really, really admire that man. His friendship was genuine. Mm -hmm. Another thing about friends is nobody wants a friend who only wants to take from you.
Because you know some people that's out there, there. She's my friend, man, because she does this for me or she'll give me this, you know. But sometimes, you know, we need to be reciprocal. So maybe my, I might not be able to give you something tangible like money or a dress or a gift. But if I can be there for you emotionally, you know, or I can give you some spiritual advice. When I say spiritual, you know, moral advice, you know, something that will really help you or guide you into, guide you into the right direction. That is also a good thing. Some people can just look out for you. You know, you, 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 they live next door to you. And you have your clothes outside. They might be able to pick up your clothes. You know what I'm saying? Just be there as a friend. You know, um, give us some um, emotional support or whatever. Mm. Because good friends, we really need these days. Right? And... Also, understand that a good friend will tell you the truth in love. A good friend will tell you the truth in love. And somebody had said to me one time, I don't remember who this person was. Oh, I, I heard a pastor said years ago, an old pastor, he says, if you have a friend and your friend had never done anything to hurt you, or you have never done anything to upset your friend that me really don't know that person mm? and i believe that is true sometimes your friends are going to upset you and whatever and they they are supposed to be able to tell you the truth so if i have a friend i'm going to use myself as, as an example if i have a friend and i when you do something wrong you know when you mess up you know when you misbehave, you know, and say you did something wrong, and then you, you, your friend might ask you what happened, and you start telling them and tell them what you did because you know all oh, we we people are, we just we have this big ego, and we say yes, I told her off, or I did this, or I to slap her, or whatever, and your friend cannot say you should not have done that. That is not right. You know you shouldn't do that. But instead your friend is going to say, Yes, man, tell her off or tell him off. Or, and you know it's wrong. But because you claim I am your friend, you justify what I did, my wrongdoing. You justify it. And for me, I don't know if anybody else, but if I know I'm wrong and you are justifying my wrong, I kind of look at you like a hypocrite, right? So because you, you, you know me wrong, but I don't know if you're scared, you're scared of me, or you're scared to lose my friendship, and you don't want to tell me the truth. But you need to tell me the truth. You need to tell me the truth. If you know my clothes don't look good on me, if you know me, I've seen me have too much cleavage out, and you know that is not appropriate for me, and you don't tell me the truth. <laughs> Me have a look on you kind of look funny because I like truth. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And if I cannot tell you the truth, you have the wrong friend because I am the master of truth. I am a friend of truth. I love to say the truth. And sometimes the truth hurts, but eventually you see. Because I've been told the truth a few times, and we don't really want to hear the truth, you know, but we know it's the truth, so we have to accept it whether we want it or not. So now I've come to the realization that truth is truth, and truth will stand while a lie will take wings and move out of town. Hmm? So... We really need to appreciate the truth when somebody tells us the truth. It can get you out of a lot of trouble. Hmm? Now, friends must be able to guide friends into the right direction. Nobody wants a bad influence around them. Nobody wants that. Hmm? And, you know, 
we have different kinds of friends like you have the acquaintances that maybe at work in the organization that you are in or you know and you know somebody and you know from what you have seen they are a nice person you're not going to get too close to those people but you know if they need your help you'll be there to help them or just like a brotherly love then brotherly love we, we need to treat everybody with respect and love and then you have somebody who you may maybe you had met them at school and you developed a rapport and maybe you used to share lunches and you know maybe you know the, the person's mother and their father or their family and stuff and sometimes after moving away or getting married you will visit your friend from time to time but they don't know everything in your life you know what i'm saying you just they like you and you like them you know each other's family and everything but then you have some closer friends who are like the inner circle people and even jesus had some inner circle people he had peter james and john who were close to him and those are the dangerous people those people are, can be dangerous so people like those that especially those who are in your inner circle those people you have to pray for them because if you don't pray for them and then switch by your god help you <clears throat> yes right and those people who are close to you like the reason why i said they can be very dangerous is that they know your moods they know your favorite food drink your favorite color they know um everything that you like they know what you don't like they also know a lot of stuff that others don't know right they have access to valuable information so you have to be careful because remember now people are very fickle especially in this time and we know what the bible says about things that are happening in the last days so people can switch on you in a drop of a hat you have to be careful with these people because these are the inner circle people and there's a gem that we always say back in the days it says have many friends and treat them well but never to them your secret tell because when your friends become your foes out the door your secret goes and some people say oh you, sh you shouldn't have secrets you should be very open with everything and you know you have nothing to hide it's not that you're hiding anything but people must be discreet people must be very careful you cannot share everything there are some sometimes you meet some people and in 10 minutes you know everything about their lives you know the good you know the bad you know the ugly you know everything about them those people are some dangerous people so what you do you cannot tell people everything and i'm talking about men and women here you cannot tell them everything some things you have to keep to yourself i remember when mary was told she was going to have a baby she pondered them in her heart and she wondered how could these things be until the angel told her what how it was going to happen she never told anybody some things you have to think about because of our mouth sometimes things that should have happened never happened because we spoke too quickly and we told the wrong people and because of that everything crashed so you see what i'm saying the mouth what you say out of your mouth you can't put it back sometimes especially the with your close people that your, your inner circle people you will say well i have this money and all of a sudden 
the, the conquer a story that they have some kind of need. Because your mouth, your mouth, you can't say everything, right? And when when you have a good friend, you can't tell your friend everything in, in your family life. You can't share all your partner's um, fault with your friends. No, you can't tell them everything because things backfire, you know. Things backfire. And you have to feel sorry that you told them. So you have to keep your mouth shut. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell people everything. When you share everything, you have there you leave yourself vulnerable. You leave yourself so vulnerable. You cannot just blah 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 everything. Hmm? Leave some things to the imagination. Make people think. You know, I wonder how oh, this is happening. No, you can't. And sometimes people will have conversations and they're, you know, leading you on. Like they want you to join in and say, you have a similar story. You don't have to tell them. You don't have nothing to say. You have to learn to train your mouth, train your tongue. And like I said, you cannot tell people everything. Reason being, and listen to this. <clears throat> Sometimes when you talk too much, people always want to give advice. Can't advise themselves, but they want to give you advice. And friends can lead you astray. Friends can lead you astray. Friends can give you bad advice. Friends, friends can cause you to make bad decisions. Mm -hmm. Friends can cause you to fail or fall. Friends can carry you down, borrow your money and pay you back. And the Bible said the wicked borrow it and pay it not again. Friends can deceive you, can lie to you to make you spend money that, you know, will benefit them and not you. Friends can betray you. And if you want to know about that, ask Jesus. Because his disciples were his friends. He called them friends. Yes, friends can envy you and you don't even know. That's why you can't tell them everything. They get jealous of you sometimes. So you have to be very careful. You can't share everything. Because you don't you see a man's face, you don't see his heart. So because you know some people are extra and show off and love say, Yeah man, I have this and I have that and I have that. You don't know the person is jealous, so you can't, you can't share everything. You can't just throw things in their lap like that because you 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 are contributing to the to them sinning against because you talk too much. Right? Um friends can get you in trouble. Yeah, they can make you do things that you would not have ordinarily done it with somebody else, but because you say it, that person is your friend. But you have a weird situation. Anytime you see a one like you want to get me in a trouble, it's not going to work me. I tell you no. I could have friend look more. Mm -hmm. Friends, you cannot always trust friends. And um, that is very serious. You can't trust your friends. So, But even though you cannot trust your friends, I ate ate it when I know I am loyal and then you try to do little things to make me feel like you don't really trust me especially with money I ate that but I cannot blame people when they don't trust me because you can't trust people these days seriously a friend will take your spouse yes they will do it Yes, man. They are, they have the audacity to want to do that. And they claim you are, they, are, they are your friend. Friends can molest your children sexually. Because most of the children who are molested are molested by neighbors and close friends of the family. So you cannot rule that out. Friend, a friend will rob you and and try to sympathize with you like they're really sorry for you but I them rob you know friends are very fickle and they switch on you in a jiffy and they will sell you out for a couple of rice and peas 
you know it 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 it, it if, if if you you don't have a lot to give off of them or maybe you still have stuff to give them but because things get bad with you and you can't do much with them again then drop it like a <laughs> no for real you know my experience that already but part time friends criticize you and it seems as though that is a big 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 thing you hardly find people who are real loyal and genuine because i've been around a lot of people in my like a short life and boy i mean i know if anybody genuine and i sleep but anyway let me, me, me leave that friends will lie on you i lie about you and spread rumors on you friends will use you and abuse you yes they will <laughs> friends will double you gear six fear nine can you yes and they can eventually kill you a lot of time friends kill friends because of whatever reason hmm? so that's why i say you cannot tell your friend everything you can't tell him your business because that is not their business anyway. No. When I tell you all of my business, me not have none. Me have to keep something for myself and me can't ponder upon. Me can't tell everything. Friend want to know how much an hour you make. They want to know your intimate details in your bedroom. Them something all right. That is invasion of privacy. Friends want to know everything about you and that is not their business that is not their business why should you not tell your friend everything let me share this with you i do not know if you have a motor mouth i do not know if you are a basket i do not know if you are a broken cistern I do not know if you are a Mota, Masi, Tongo, Free, Liver, Lipsy, District, Bella, Ganga, Lee. Me no know. So me can't tell you everything. Me can't tell you me very important information. Things that should remain in my house, me must tell you. No, because I don't know what you do with it. And especially if I know you for a while and know that you know all nothing. You're a big basket. Me not tell you important stuff. And if me knows so something, somebody shares something with me, I me know so it can be, um, it can hurt them later on. Me not tell you. There are friends that I have who would say I am very secretive, but it's not everything me share. You know, you know, some people say so, especially women. Oh, you buy a nice dress. Oh, you have to tell them, say, you buy the dress. No, I'm not, me, me not a little girl. I pass them age a long, 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 long time. Even if we share the same apartment. And when you see me in it, because I don't have no time for them kind of petty things, you know. But, you know, I think I am teaching you wisdom today. Because sometimes we talk too much. Another thing about friends is... Friends must understand boundaries. We are friends, but you must understand your boundary. You cannot believe that you are the only um, thing I person I have to deal with. I have a family. I have a husband. I have a mother. I have a father. I have things that I need to do. I have a job. Or if you are a man, you have a wife. And you have other obligations. So you cannot think, you can call me in the middle of dinner time when I'm cooking. And I said, okay, you know what? I'm busy. And you're still there chit-chatting like you have no regard for my family. You have to understand boundaries. A man cannot call his friend to say, come over and play cards or, or come over and play domino yeah when he's having his family time 
because men have to spend quality time with their children and family so you have to understand if you don't have a family you don't have any responsibility don't try to rob your friend of his responsibility because everybody is different you can just run out any day and go do what you want to do but some people do value their families right so you need to have boundaries and as a man or a woman if you notice your friend has no boundary you need to sit them now and tell them you can't call me at this time and whatever and they will understand okay and they will respect that now another thing about friends that you 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 i want to share is that friends should not be territorial because you have some territorial friends they think they are the only ones you you have to talk to and they don't have the answers to everything in this day and time we need different kinds of friends they don't have to be very very close to us but you need a police friend you need a soldier friend you need a lawyer friend you need a doctor friend, you need a lecturer friend, you need a journalist friend, you need a carpenter friend, you need a plumber friend, you need a builder friend, you need a mechanic friend, hmm? you need a social worker, a banker friend, you need a real estate friend. So when you're ready for buy your house, you need a Spanish speaking friend, a French speaking friend. A Igbo speaking friend, a Swali speaking friend, a Wolof speaking friend. Yes, you do because you need a Patwa speaking friend. If you're, if you're not Jamaican and you really want to go there, you need a friend, yeah, man. You need a farmer friend, you need a mother friend. Because I have a mother friend that I met on a plane coming from England. She's from Ireland, and I'm telling you, she's one of the most positive elderly persons I've ever encountered in my life. Yes, and I was commending her about it, and she said, Sandra, I wish I was all the things that you, you said about me, because I can get really crabby sometimes. And I appreciate the woman, because we know that sometimes we get really crabby sometimes. But she is really a mother friend. You know, she is 87 now. So we understand that friends are good to have. Friends are some wonderful people. But we have to understand that they are just people. They are people and they can change. So we don't want to mess up our friendships. We don't want to hurt our friends we don't want them to hurt us because there's a devil in the midst that tries to do harm you know so we just need to know that we have to be wise in all our interactions you know we need to be very very wise and if you have a friend treat them very well and Sometimes you have to kind of talk to your friends about things that you don't like, you know, because, yes, you, you, you need to do that sometimes um, and give let them have an understanding, you know, whether they, because sometimes they poke into things and sometimes they say things that you don't. You don't you're not approved of you don't approve of certain things that they say um sometimes they give you unsolicited um advice so you know you're going to have a problem sometime with your friends and your friends your friends might have a problem with you but that does not mean you're not friends you know because there's going to be misunderstanding there's going to be um some mishaps sometimes you might misbehave or your friend might misbehave and you will need to talk about it but that's all in the the game so 
this 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 video is quite lengthy but i just wanted to wanted to share some good tidbits on friend and friendships a friend or are the friendships that we will um encounter in life you know sometimes you, you meet friends in the, from different countries different places i know that we have social media you know the the, the world is kind of like open you know it's a global village right now so you know people are people and like i said earlier what they can do to you to hurt you so you have to be wise so this is something to think about so until i see you next time like and share the video share it with somebody who you think will need this and i will see you in another video take care